Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes and X-Plane 11. For this flight I'm in the Columbia 400 which I believe is stock to X-Plane 11 from Laminar Research and it looks like this. It is a stormy day here in Nagasaki. I'm going to be headed towards Kochi which is not too long a flight away about 192 nautical miles so we'll see how the weather harms us maybe uh, we'll see how the sightseeing is but along the way of course we're going to be listening to the Apollo 13 audio uh, they have shut down many systems dealing with the problem of having to basically shut down the command and service module and we are continuing on to listen to uh, them dealing with their struggles so there we go Okay, you're looking at 1685 now, Jack. All right, and we will begin. Okay, you're uh, going to residuals, proceed. Whoa, little guy. I don't think I've actually flown this plane, even though okay, it's stock. Okay, you say go on to residuals, you mean uh, don't uh, trim them, is that right? That's affirmative, uh, no trim required. Ooh, the landing gear is flexing, that's nice. Roger. Okay. Aquarius, uh, check your master arm off, please. Okay, Houston, burn's complete. Now we have to talk about uh, power down and uh, what do you want us to do with the, uh, the paint? Roger, uh, we're looking at that right now and uh, you'll be the first one to get to work. And uh, Houston, uh, it's uh, doubtful right now whether we'll be able to see the stars uh, in this configuration. Uh, the only way we could possibly get alignment is with the Earth and the Terminator, or the Moon and its Terminator. And it's sure that if you look at the power down, uh, we are keeping the things if at all possible. Again, this is the city of Omura. I don't think the autogen scenery is quite right. right. Jim, uh, I think we'll the buildings are a little bit small. I think the buildings are meant to be like um, more like Tokyo downtown housing rather and, uh, than Houston, uh, out here. The Hence the large open spaces between them. We're going to be headed towards Kumamoto. 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 Stand by on that one, Jim. Okay, Aquarius, uh, we're working on uh, what's going to happen next. In the meantime, we'd like to uh, take some uh, high power items off the line. So, uh, on uh, panel 11, open deck of power and open deck of gimbal. On 16, open the ATCA breaker. Okay, on 11, we got deck of power, deck of gimbal open. On uh, 16, we got the uh, ATCA break open. I just want to check the red lines. Doesn't seem like there's anything imminent. And uh, Houston, while you're thinking, the He's giving a little map uh, on the... the... Oh, there's a nice big map here, too. Uh, optics, uh, Good times. Drive, uh, to perhaps uh, look for stars. Roger. A little bit fuzzy, but okay. The rather sparse cockpit. But what do you expect, I suppose? We would freeze up the normal urine dump season. Okay, there I see the yellow part of the speedometer, so 180 knots indicated looks like. Use the side hatch for urine dump. Okay. And uh, how are the stars out the window now? Well, I look again, Jack. Uh, 
But in this attitude, the sun's replacing off of uh, off a of quad four uh, so bright that it is ruining any night vision. And uh, we took our particles floating around us. Uh, I'll go to take a long look and see if I can see any star patterns. Roger. And uh, Aquarius, we're going to uh, have to hand you over to a different site now. And we think maybe things will work better if uh, this time we turn off the S-band transmitter receiver and bring it back up in five minutes. You copy? That's funny. We seem to have... Uh... Okay, stand by one. Basically, a little tab stuck up there. Whoa. Oh, that's just, uh, whoa, we, we were going way fast. We're going way fast okay, now. Okay, I understand. You wanted to turn off the S-band right. transmitter receiver and bring it I up think the wind minutes. just changed correct? configuration and that's threw us off a bit. I don't know if the Columbia 400 is supposed to have that one just permanently up. Uh, maybe it's just to compensate for the propeller tour. To a little bit weird. But Affirmative on the attitude control. Conceivable. Auto control. Okay, she's maintaining auto attitude control. Nice okay, mountains. Uh, Jack, I'm uh, back on the line now. Uh, on the S band, you want me to turn off the uh, transmitter receiver and the uh, power amp to off for five minutes? Is that when you give me the word? Is that uh, what you want? Aquarius, leave the. Uh, power amplifier the way it is, turn the transmitter receiver off for five minutes. Now. Okay, you tell me, you tell me when. Okay, turn it off now. <laughs> See you in five minutes. Uh, signal okay, delay. Okay, it's gone off. It's gone off for five minutes. So yeah, the back end said there were stormy weather conditions. So far, it's not too bad. This is Apollo Control, 61 hours, 45 minutes, ground elapsed time. The process of handing over Unfortunately, from the we seem to have a station to the uh, wind pushing us to side at 51 knots station in or Australia. somewhere like that. Our true airspeed has really gotten down now. Of about five minutes while uh, this handover so is this flight might be longer than expected. Place. Meanwhile, the uh, people here in Mission Control Center are looking at ways of setting up some sort of scheme for passive thermal control or barbecue mode of uh, thermal balance for the spacecraft. During the remainder of the coasting flight, using the uh, abort guidance system of the lunar module to uh, provide the attitude control, set up this slow roll. Apollo 13, uh, now 188,863 nautical miles out from Earth. Velocity 3,084 feet per second. At 61 hours, 46 minutes, ground elapsed time, and standing by, this is Apollo control. Aquarius Houston, how do you read? Okay, you're uh, loud and clear there, Jack. Roger, same here. Uh, well, we're still discussing the next move. I uh, I figured it. Let's uh, just make it a good one. We're uh, looking real close at uh, water usage profiles, and uh, right now uh, things are kind of swinging toward uh, leaving the uh, IMU powered up, far down the LGC. But uh, we'll have more word for you shortly. Uh, we recommend for uh, sleeping that uh, you leave one guy and watch. We uh, recommend you don't make any uh, urine dumps if you can help it, because uh, it'll make a uh, Debris problem worse than it is now. 
And uh, we have some uh, items that you might want to transfer to the lamb. Uh, some towels, some pen lights, fecal bags, UTS. And uh, do you have any more items that we can uh, help you out with at the moment? Okay, uh, stand by on your uh, ladder list there, uh, Jack. I understand uh, no your dumps. I guess we'll work through the uh, UCD and uh, all the bags we got. And uh, real quick here, can you give me a, a DAP load? Uh, we want in here now to uh, conserve our CS. Okay, for attitude control Aquarius, we're recommending uh, manual control verb 76. And uh, watch your middle gimbal angle. Your DAP load uh, that you have now looks good. Well, there is some turbulence. I'm trying to okay, keep it uh, as close to yellow as possible uh, for, uh, for the guy on watch. sheer speed because the wind is against and us. And our DAP load we got right now is okay. Aquarius, our uh, decision for the time is uh, to leave the IMU powered up, power down the LGC, and to power down other non-essential items. Uh, we'll be coming up with a more precise checklist uh, as soon as we can get it over. So this is the Ariake C. Okay, the decision is to keep the platform. And behind uh, us is Shimabara, and, we'll and in front of us for, uh, is Kumamoto. Kumamoto. Roger. And Aquarius, for your information, uh, we now have a 136 mile perigee. Confirmed by Doppler. Okay, 136 mile uh, perigee now. That's uh, very nice. Uh, Jack, did you say uh, Paris sent in or Perigee? I was wondering that. Okay. Perigee didn't make a whole oh, lot of sense better. to me. Um, I thought he was supposed to be telling them how close they were passing the, by the moon, but of course Perigee is specific to Earth. Uh, Parasynthian or Perigee uh, would be we for we the moon. Out your I mean, it's conceivable Roger, that he'd be telling them th well, how close their current orbit would pass by the Earth again Aquarius to Sam reassure now, them please. that they're coming back, but no, I was just to tell them how close Sam they'd now. be passing by the moon. Since they'd still want to get a look at it, it's a free return so they'd only get one look as opposed to the original orbit and Mrs. Houston, go ahead. many looks. Weekly. At least that okay, one look will be Jack, a close uh, one. I, you don't want to bug you, but you ought to be thinking of uh, our, what your thoughts are concerning what the next burn will be. I've got to figure out uh, what schedule and, uh, and the sleep schedule and uh, just uh, how we can beat the next uh, maneuver. Roger, we're getting you a flight plan update. We're uh, still computing on your next burn, and we're getting ready to give you a procedure uh, for power down. Aquarius, uh, one idea on managing uh, the Omni antennas uh, might make it easier on everybody if we uh, disable the uplink squelch and uh, manage the antennas by switching when we uh, hear the noise, over. All right, Roger, will do. Really getting knocked around here. Uh, that's Kumamoto in front of us. This is Apollo Control, 62 hours, 24 minutes, ground elapsed time. Under discussion here in the control room are the various means by which the 
It's up there in the Thermal wind a bit, then it's not as bad as it was just now. With a minimum minimum amount of propellant and electrical usage. One man will be on watch in the crew throughout the night. And they're looking at the possibility of manual control attitude to uh, arrive at some sort of passive thermal control mode. Apollo 13 now 190,026 nautical miles out. Velocity 3,064 feet per second. At 62 hours 25 minutes ground elapsed time, this is Apollo Control. Seems like a pretty nice day considering planes being knocked about all over the place. Um, okay, let me turn Grace, this off uh, just to. Okay, well, we get more clouds like that. But like you to not a whole lot more point clouds. Point the limb x axis either north or south. That's the positive x axis. It appears to us that uh, it'd be closer to uh, orient the LEM plus X axis toward the south. Do that with the uh, LGC powered up uh, using the TTCA. After that, uh, we propose to power down the uh, LGC to save some power. However, uh, this means that we uh, lose the use of the TTCA. And LGC we'll is to, the uh, Lunar Guidance the Computer, I think. With a hand controller in a direct mode. Um, request your uh, your position on uh, these two items. Aquarius Houston, how do you read? Okay, Jack, understand. Uh, you want us to uh, point the lamp X plus X axis to the south using the uh, TTCAs uh, with the LGC powered up. Then by powering down the LGC, we'll lose the TTCA. Uh, I wasn't too successful in controlling the spacecraft with attitude only, but uh, I might be able to keep it out of gimbal lock. That's affirmative, uh, Jim. We'd uh, keep your ball powered up and uh, go to direct on a hand controller and maintain attitude in a direct position. Basically, they don't really have enough power to have the computer do it. And also, the computer wasn't really meant okay, to have the lunar module that. thrusters control everything. So it's awkward for it. Affirmative. Uh, we'll take whatever PTC mode you can uh, set up, Jim. Okay, and since you know our approximate attitude, I'm uh, just give me something to uh, fly to on the disky uh, for a southerly plus X direction. Roger, stand by one. It is going to be really hard for Jim Lovell to control the combined craft of the lunar module and the uh, service the question, module. Uh, here's this, when you say power down the disk, uh, the LGC, do you mean going uh, into zero six or pull the six breaker? Uh, stand by on uh, powering down the disk, Jim. Uh, we'll give you the procedure for that. Uh, the procedure that we okay. the procedure that we have is uh, listed in several places. It's in the contingency checklist under power down on uh, page one, second paragraph. Uh, and uh, we'll give you the word when we want you to do that. Uh, that's uh, LGC only, not to power down the IMU, but uh, we'd like to have you uh, hold off on that till we uh, send the word over. Understand.
Aquarius, uh, while we're working on this, uh, we have a proposed uh, flight plan update for your working and resting cycles. And uh, you ready to copy? Okay, uh, do you want me to write this in, in the uh, flight plan for se, Jack? Uh, you probably write it on a piece of scratch paper. This is uh, uh, pretty easy. Okay, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, we got a lot of scratch paper. Okay, we're suggesting that the uh, LMP rest while the CMP and CDR are awake. LMP ought to uh, hit the sack at about 63 hours, coming up in 25 minutes. And uh, you get the rest for six hours. You get up at uh, 69 hours. At 70 hours, the uh, commander and the command module pilot sleep for six hours until 76 hours. Around uh, 70. Really getting knocked about 76 here. 76 and a half to 77 hours. Uh, we'll do a P-51 and a 52. At uh, 78.30, we'll load P-30 and align eggs to pings. Our ignition time for a second burn will be presently 79.25, and we'll have a pad for you shortly. We suggest that all of you eat uh, after the burn. That would be uh, 81 to 82 hours. That the uh, CMP and CDR eat while you're sleeping. And um, that you uh, grab a bite as uh, soon as you can. Over. Okay, uh, Jack, as I uh, read that, uh, the LMP is to uh, go to sleep at 6300 uh, for about six hours. Uh, during that period, the CDR and CMP should uh, try to get a bite to eat. I'm going to wake at 69 hours. CDR and CMP sleep at 70 hours, and they're to wake at 76 hours. And we should plan on doing a P-51, P-52 at 76 hours to 76.30. At uh, 78.30, we're going to load a P-30 and a lion of eggs to pink. Second maneuver is to take place at 79, 25, 26.5 ignition time. And then we're all to eat at uh, 81 to 82 hours. Well, we're basically okay, flying over the heart of Kyushu now. Your uh, P-51, P-52 will be uh, about uh, 77 hours. And um, I don't know what mountain this is. That's a period of darkness. I guess I'll try and, uh, and see. The commander and the CMP ought to eat around uh, 68 to 69 hours. Ooh. and. Uh, you it's a jittery eat, uh, plane right now, though. I think there's the Asokuju National Park. There, we have left an hour in there where everybody is awake together to uh, talk And then there's also over. Kuju Mountains. I think those to the left are the Kuju Mountains, that plateau. Okay, I'll uh, eat after I uh, wake up here uh, between 69 and uh, 70. All right, we have uh, additional... And uh, we got the correction to people. That's a heck of a plateau, too. That's really Go flat. Ahead, yeah, we got the word to P-51, uh, P-52. This has flat portions, uh, too. It's going to be done around 77 hours uh, while we're in darkness. That's affirmative, and uh, we have a work-rest cycle uh, laid out for uh, further on, which we can relay to you later. 
I think it's just Mount okay. Aso, this tall one here. That's the best I can do. So, yep, okay, Mount uh, Aso. Houston, uh, you have advice on uh, what attitude you want me to go to? Okay, and that'll be the next The city down there is Aso. So, A S O. Whoa. Okay. Turning to face it caused a lot of lag. I bet this one of those buildings, like in the last flight. Uh, but unfortunately. Oh, I have to turn that hey, on. Aquarius, first. Uh, just to get you there we go. In that direction, uh, just turn we've, off the building, uh, the and suddenly everything is all right. Analysis, and we found out that it's gonna Must be, be just one type to, uh, of building or something. Might be and part of the, the random the scatter. I've got. It's gonna save us one amp. And, uh, and also some water. So we got like some add-ons for that. Uh, and uh, we'll have to monitor the middle gimbal angle. The auto gen we'll scenery. We'll get the procedure on that. And it'll also be an easier control mode where we'll be able to use the uh, TTCA through the through the DAP. So that might be it. That sounds uh, great, Jack. Aquarius Houston, uh, we've got a procedure for you, ready to copy. Ready to oh, copy. I just realized we have a great okay, scenery problem uh, here. We see you've already got verb 16, now 20 called up there. There's not supposed to be water and there. So we want you to uh, in maneuver in Ping's attitude There's hold. a whole Use block the that's missing. We want you to, on the... Commander's ball, oh dear. pitch to 267 decimal 5, in yaw to minus 4.5. Well, I guess this is sort of what and when you do this, I'm flying around to find out. Verb 16 noun 20, on the disk you ought to read plus 00120, plus 26750, and plus 00450. Go ahead. So, uh, apologies to the people of Kyushu that reside in the, oh, west, no, okay, sorry, eastern uh, central part the, portion uh, of it. To, uh, I think pitch, uh, a photo scenery uh, failure uh, has basically wiped out everything. And, uh, we we can possibly attribute it to time, some uh, sort of zero, zero, one, two, zero, anime disaster. Plus two, six, seven, five, zero, plus zero, zero, four, five, zero. That's there are apparently we'll some remnants. This is sort of like what happened with Estonia, unfortunately. But that's a heck of a sheer cliff right there. You can tell there's been uh, a uh, programming the error, player. if you will. Go ahead, Aquarius. So, all right. Maybe we. Maybe this is a good time right, to have uh, clouds, yes. Let's climb. We will uh, uh, ignore this and hope that the, two, there's better scenery up ahead. I hope, like, uh, uh, there isn't serious problems further on. Now, we can't go too high. I don't think this thing has uh, a pressurized cabin. Maybe, maybe not. Go ahead, Jim. 12,000 feet is probably okay, the safest the and, uh, limit. And, uh, and there are angle. I don't know if there's got to be uh, clouds that can angle, sort of... Kindly shield us from the sight of what's going on down there. Yeah, well, I've been looking at that too, and uh, we're asking why, and uh, we'll get an answer for you. Yeah, he's been, uh, yeah that's an interesting for, uh, being, uh, thing to happen. First time I've had this particular sort of generalized missing block situation. And uh, Fredo, I know you're supposed to start sleeping here pretty soon, but uh, we got a uh, new PC plus two pad, P30 maneuver pad for you. Okay, uh, go ahead, Jack. Okay, Fred, P-30 maneuver. Purpose is P-30 
PC plus two dips to uh, this time we're going to the MPL in down 33 zero seven niner two seven four zero one three plus zero eight one four four minus zero zero four four three minus zero two 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 six Apogee is in a perigee is plus zero zero two zero five zero eight four five five four two zero two six eight two six one plus zero eight one five five minus zero zero four four three minus zero two one eight seven coas is na your gda ought to be okay as it is from the last burn but pitch ought to be at 5.85 in roll at 6.74 your ollage will be two jets for 10 seconds your dip throttle will be 10 percent for five seconds 40% for 21 seconds, and the remainder at full throttle. And for your information, this will uh, put you in the water at 142 plus 47, over. Okay, uh, dip uh, paracynthian uh, plus two into the MPL. Zero seven niner. Two seven four zero one three plus zero eight one four four minus zero zero four four three minus zero zero two two six in flash A plus zero zero two zero five zero eight four five five four plus two zero two six eight two six one plus Zero eight one five five minus zero zero four four three minus zero two one or two one eight seven in flash A GDA should be okay as is, uh, which uh, hopefully is pitch five point eight five yaw six point seven four two jet ullage for ten seconds the dip throttle ten percent for five seconds. 40% for 21 seconds, 100% for the rest of the burn. And this should put us into the water at uh, 142 plus 4.7. Okay, Fred, I have a uh, correction in noun 81. A little bit high Delta now. Delta V sub Z is minus 0, 02. Well, it's not uh, two, two, blacking six. us out in here. Read back. We should probably descend anyway. Nice okay, to be uh, just above the clouds, of course. Zero, two, Always two, pleasant. Two, okay, good read back. And we certainly aren't getting knocked around anymore. So that's good. Somehow that didn't add up with the uh, Della VX to give a Della VR of that magnitude. Seemed like it had been bigger. Okay, we'll take another look at it, Fred. Okay, uh, Houston, uh, I'm not having too much luck holding this particular attitude. Yeah, it's going to be trouble. Eh, still water down there, too. Okay, Jim, stand by one. Okay, Aquarius. Uh, We're more or less over the city there, of Oita. Like uh, as close as we need to be. We will actually be We'd over like to, what's uh, supposed to be water soon. Try a control mode and see if it'll work. Sort of a semi PTC. 
We'll leave the ball powered up for this, and if this doesn't work, why well, we'll have to revert to uh, attitude hold mode. But uh, stay, stand by one, please. We'd like you to uh, think about this control mode, Jim, and uh, see if you think it might work from uh, what you know right now. Uh, we're a little skeptical, but we'd like to put it to you. So uh, once you get in a pretty good attitude, uh, monitoring verb 16, noun 20, uh, go to Ping's uh, minimum impulse, verb 76, as we have, and uh, set up a uh, yaw rate, yaw rate to the right monitor the uh, middle gimbal on R3 on the disky and uh, see if she'll kind of stabilize out. <clears throat> if not, the only other suggestion we've got is to uh, go to Ping's attitude hold. We'll uh, keep the ball up until you make this evaluation. Okay, where'd you lose me, Jim? I lost you when you said uh, try the uh, control mode, you're a little skeptical. Okay, uh, from what you say, we have to be a little skeptical of this procedure, but we'd like to have you try it and have you evaluate it. You can monitor the middle gimbal on R3. Before uh, we power down the ball, we want your evaluation. The uh, next best choice is uh, Ping's attitude hold. Over. Wind is still very much pushing us off to the side, and we're right at 12,000 okay, feet, I'll, I'll so this it. is the wind against us. Uh, well, not fully against us, but just pushing us off to the side, 63 knots. Interesting, the map okay, has the right the, terrain, uh, but the visual procedure. is clearly not correct. Hello, it's more of a tailwind ahead, now, Aquarius. as long as we don't get into the more okay, I'm not kidding you. I can monitor uh, uh, register three. I can probably keep it out of uh, one or two seven, uh, going into gimbal lock. Uh, Roger, how are uh, pitch and roll? This is Apollo Control. Angles of 1620 with the reflections the way they are, but I'll have to try a uh, minimum pulse in just a minute. Okay, uh, Jack, I've got a question, one more question about Odyssey. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I still have the Pyro A sequence A and Pyro B sequence B trigger breakers in. Do you want those out? Stand by one. Odyssey Houston, the uh, two circuit breakers you referred to, uh, leave them in. Okay, copy, leave them in. Okay, you can make a control yaw and then a ball for a step by on pitch. And uh, Fredo, uh, the uh, Delta VR resultant uh, computes with the components. Fred's off the uh, comm now, Jack. Roger, your pad is good. And Jack, we didn't get that whole sentence there. Okay, I said that the uh, Delta VR that Fred questioned uh, computes well with the components. It's RMS. 
Okay, copy. Uh, RMS root mean okay, square. Now, uh, uh, the, the components four. are so the X, Y, and Z, and so you square. The, the you sum right. all the squares of the X, That's Y, and Z and should add up to the total delta V. Uh, right and rate. so I guess and monitor the middle gimbal angle. there was a question whether they summed up properly, and they do. Okay, I can do that. I'm not too sure whether I can control roll. And uh, it's the square root uh, of the pulse, sum of the but I can squares. Control anyway. pulse. You yaw know, Pythagorean the theorem. On the ball. Uh, Roger, and uh, remember, we're not going to have a ball there, so that uh, uh, we're going to be monitoring uh, CDUs on the disky. And if we get it off, uh, it'll be pretty hard to figure out where to fly back to. And uh, well, in addition, have to uh, control the omnis while we're doing this. Well, Roger. So we are crossing over what is properly water. I don't really know what the name of it is. It's between um, Kyushu and Shikoku. Whatever that portion of water happens to be called. And hopefully in Shikoku there's going to okay, be some Jack, land yeah, for now, us. Uh, register 1 is in the decrease mode. And uh, Houston, do you see anything wrong with this uh, spacecraft motion? Uh, we had a data dropout right now, Jim. We'll look at it as soon as it comes up. Okay, Aquarius, uh, we're going to uh, dispense with this control mode. We'd like you to fly the machine back to the original attitude that you had. And we'll go ping's attitude hold. And then we got to get that ball off the line to save some power. And uh, then in order to uh, keep even heating uh, every 15 or 30 minutes, uh, we'll give you a call to uh, give us uh, 90 or 180 degrees of, ro of yaw. OK. Want me to go back to your original uh, attitude? Uh, I'll be going back to it now. This is Apollo Control, 63 hours, 26 minutes, ground elapsed time. Well, uh, this uh, map is very blue, upcoming. but flickering quite Air a lot, Cynthian huh? Cynthian plus two hours maneuver with the descent propulsion system engine. Time of ignition, 79 hours, 27 minutes, 40 seconds. The velocity change will be positive grade 845.5 feet per second for a burn time of four minutes, 20 seconds. The throttle schedule on the descent propulsion engine will be Five seconds at 10%, 21 seconds at 40%, and the remainder of the four minutes and 20 seconds at full throttle. This burn will produce a uh, splash in the Southwest Pacific at 142 hours, 47 minutes, around elapsed time. The uh, tentative coordinates for entry interface are 400,000 feet is 28 degrees south, 
latitude by 173 degrees 14 minutes east longitude. Splashdown will be somewhat to the east okay, of Okay, well, Actually, there is land in front of us. We saw as the clouds rebuilt. Degrees west so longitude. that's a relief. I'll have to figure out how to fix up two shoes. Spacecraft uh, presently 191,889 nautical miles out from Earth. Velocity 3,034 feet per second. And at 63 hours, 28 minutes, ground elapsed time and standing by, this is Apollo Control. Okay, Houston, uh, Aquarius, I'm uh, flying it back over towards the initial anchorage you gave me of the mission 257. I'll get near the belly band in, roll in y'all, then I'll go to uh, Pink's at hold. That's affirmative, Jim, and then uh, we're going to have you uh, go through a power down procedure. Okay. And you'll need uh, verb 77 with that hold when you get there. Will do. Okay, Jack, as I get near uh, 360 on uh, yaw and roll, I'm going to go to at home. Roger, and then uh, we want to get the ball part down. Okay, stand by. Okay, I'll start trying to send below the clouds so we can continue sightseeing. Okay, I'm now in uh, things at hold, and you, uh, can you read my uh, disc angle? Roger, we see him. Of course, we might get knocked about by the wind again. Now you want me to fire it on the ball, and if you'll give me the procedure for that, I'll do it right away. Okay, uh, we'll buy what uh, you've got on the disky there, and uh, we'd just like to uh, go through an overall power down procedure, and in so doing, we'll catch the ball in the inverter. It'll only take a few minutes. So, are you ready to start on panel 11? Uh, Roger, uh, Jack will copy, and I'll do the work. Okay, panel 11, top roll. Currently, we're heading towards Uwajima. On top row coming over. That'll be the city on the coast uh, as we approach the coast. They're all up on top row. Okay, second row. Close the first six on the left through the ISO valve and open all to the right of that. Okay, first six on the left are closed, that's through the ISO valve, but they open up every one from there on. Okay, third row. Open up the next five. Correction, open up the first five. On the left, close AOT heater, close sick conditioner one. Close attitude direct. and open the rest on row three. Do you want to act your things uh, open? And leave Atka things closed. Four breakers in the third row must be closed. AOT heater, SIG conditioner one, and Atka pings, attitude direct control. Our mistake, good going. Okay, uh, I'm opening up engine start over right now. I, yeah, I mean, good thing they check on that thing among the crew, because, you know, shutting off yeah, power to something that might be critical would be bad. Okay, on the fourth row. Open from the left, open the first five. Correction, close the first five and open cabin fan one. 
God, this is nerve wracking to even Close listen to. The three glycol pump circuit breakers. Open all the comm breakers except for Commander's audio. Close it. All the pings breakers open. Correct correction. All these corrections. Open that make the me first nervous. three pings breakers. Close. LGC Disky, IMU standby, IMU operate. That's complete, uh, Jack. Okay, now we've got some rain coming down. Okay, and EPS. Is this show in the cockpit? Well, it's all white Close. in the cockpit. Bat feed ties. Cross, cross tie bell loads. Oh, well, there goes any and side of land. Great. Close the next three. Open. SNECA control. -E I said, hey, it's not stormy, uh, way one. too soon. <laughs> okay, so that's Close Uwa Jima, that DC city down ball. there. Go ahead. That, that's complete, Jack. Uh, 11 is two figures. Okay, let's go over to panel 16. Top roll. Starting from the left, open the first four. Stand by, Jack. Okay, starting from the left, open the first four. Okay, then close the ISO valve. Keep your TCA breakers closed. Close the cross feed. Open the next two displays. Close the main salve. And the propulsion breakers should all three be open. Roger, right, the main salves are closed and the display engine override lodge is coming open. And uh, BQGS and acid hearing breaker open. That's affirmative. The second row. They should all be open except for three breakers under instrumentation. Close. SIG sensor. PCMTE. And SIG conditioner two. Over. Uh, Roger, do you want two flow control open? Engine arm coming open, and ASA, I guess, will be open. Is that correct? Uh, we just got a change on that. Uh, let's keep the ASA closed. How about two slow control and uh, engine arm? Okay, Jim. Uh, suit flow control can uh, be open. And uh, engine arm. Engine arm open. Okay, let's go to uh, row three. Okay, row three under com. Open displays. Close SE audio. Open VHF A transmitter and B receiver. Close the primary S-band circuit breakers, both of them. Open the S-band antenna. PMP closed. TV open. Yep. And all the rest of them high, open under ECS except for CO2 sensor closed. Uh, Roger. Okay, under row four, under heaters. Your RCS quad heaters, should four of them be closed. Open displays, open S-band antenna. 
open sequence camera. Under EPS, open displays, close, DC bus volt. Open inverter two, open ascent ECA control and ascent ECA. Close, descent ECA, descent ECA control, translunar bus tie. Close, cross tie bell loads. Open cross tie bus. Close bat feed ties. Over. Bat feed complete, Chuck. Okay, Jim, and uh, we already got a change uh, to what we just told you. <laughs> Uh, under ECS, uh, close the cabin repress and ensure that the ASA breaker is closed under S and C. The ASA breaker is closed, but I close the cabin repress. Okay, Jim, and uh, looks like what we have to do is uh, in order to maintain uh, even heating, we just have to yaw the whole machine about 90 degrees per hour in increments. So we'll give you a call when it's time to yaw 90 degrees. Okay, we have the yaw machine, as I understand it, Houston, and uh, you'll give it to me in increments of 90 degrees. That's affirmed. Okay, Jim, uh, your present configuration uh, has the following features. We got the uh, electrical buses, uh, cross tied through the bell load circuit breakers. And uh, we have auto cabin repress. And uh, one thing we'd like to do right now is to uh, give you an uplink. So immediately we have to, uh, on panel 11, close the up data link circuit breaker. Go to Poo and data. Over. Okay, we're going to pull it down and the trigger breaker is closed. I guess just a regular reminder that Poo is program zero zero, which is saying the computer to idle. Uh, Houston, uh, Aquarius, did you say you had a new pad for us to copy? Jim, I uh, passed that uh, newest pad that we have to uh, Fred about 30 minutes ago. That's our latest. It's uh, PC plus two. And it uh, begins with uh, 9.33 of uh, 79 hours, 27 minutes, and uh, 40.13 seconds. You got that one? Okay, we got that one. Now, what kind of an ad uh, hole mode do you want us to do? you want us to be wide that band? I didn't see what we had the depth. Jim, the dead band is good the way it is. It's five degrees. We want to stay in it. And uh, stay in the pings at okay. mode. Two things, uh, Jim. We want you to know that there's uh, some pretty big attitude errors in. So as if you go to auto, the uh, computer is going to try to crank you around and uh, the other thing is uh, don't drink water out of the limb. Okay, you might think about this. You know, we lost our uh, oxygen pressure in the command module. They haven't even gotten to the carbon dioxide issue. And Aquarius.
this. We're finished with the uplink. The computer is yours. And uh, you can open the up data link circuit breaker. Okay, we've opened up the uh, up data link and we've gone off of data and I've uh, got 1620 in the computer. Roger, Jim. Uh, I guess we're going to uh, just kind of perk away here now. Okay, Jack, one more question about Odyssey here. Go ahead, Jack. Okay, how about the uh, service modulo supply valve? You want that off? Affirmative uh, service module to supply off, Jack. Okay, on the way. And uh, Jim, we see a program alarm in there. We think it's uh, just got to do with pulling the up data link circuit breaker. Up link too fast. Roger, I don't fear it. Should I reset? Go ahead and reset, Jim. Houston Aquarius. Go ahead, Aquarius. Uh, one thought that might occur to you is that if we have low decent water pressure, we might consider uh, taking the plus water and filling it in reverse. If that works, we might look at a procedure for that. Roger, good thought. Let us uh, bounce that around a little. Okay, Jim, uh, that's a good thought, and we've looked at that, and it uh, looks like that's feasible. So uh, if and when we need to do that, we will. And uh, something else, uh, Jack, uh, when it's time for me to uh, make my 90 degree yaw, what I plan on doing is going to uh, down 76, all and uh, just uh, pulse the yaw several times to keep the yaw start, and then uh, hoping that pitch and uh, roll will stay with the limit. Roger, it sounds like a good plan, and uh, you can use your TTCA and uh, main impulse to take care of pitch and roll. Okay. Aquarius Houston, we see uh, SN02 tank number two building up again, so uh, we'd like to uh, use something out of it, so turn on SN02 tank number two and turn off descent 2 Roger, opening up SN02 tank number two and turn off descent. Aquarius Houston, uh, we're starting to think about uh, CO2 buildup up in the uh, command uh -huh. module there, so we've got a uh, recommendation. CO2 and, uh, buildup. What we're recommending is that you take the commander's hoses in the limb and uh, put a cap over the red return hose, and then uh, figure out a way to fasten those hoses uh, so as they blow up into the CSM by extending them up to the tunnel as far as possible and uh, we'll get some uh, flow out the blue side, circulate it up around in the command module and uh, keep the CO2 level down. Uh, Roger, 
Roger, we, uh, we're thinking of that too. The only one problem is that the uh, comm is connected securely to the hose, so we've got to get the comm cable off somehow to get that. We still have comm down here in the lab and have the hose up there. And this city is Susaki? Houston, we're trying to extend that uh, commander's hose by use of the uh, vacuum hose. Sounds like a good plan if you can work that out, Jim. Aquarius, uh, if you can shake Jack loose there, I've got a, uh, uh, some procedures for him to write down. Okay, stand by. Okay, Jack, is this a long one? Oh, it's about, uh, 12, 15 lines, it's a matter of uh, verifying some valves and so forth. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we want you to go in uh, when you can and verify the following valves and leave them as we outline here. Repress package valve off. Emergency cabin pressure off. Direct O2 off. Demand reg off. Both water accumulators off. Main reg A and B open. Water glycol, correction, water and glycol tank inlet and outlet. Both. Now if you want to get some water, we recommend uh, that you momentarily Turn the surge tank on to pressurize the system, and then turn it off and uh, take out water as required. Over. Okay, uh, this city here is Tosa. That's it, uh, Jack. And another note on uh, taking water. Uh, if you don't uh, drain enough water, so is that. Up to Say again, Aquarius. Uh, that wasn't us, Jack. Okay, one more note on the uh, water, Jack. If you don't uh, bleed the pressure off uh, when you don't take enough water to bleed the pressure off completely, uh, the pressure that's left on there is going to uh, drain away in a period of one to three hours. So uh, it's a small amount of oxygen, but we might as well save it. So if uh, you want to uh, eliminate that problem, you could completely drain the pressure off by uh, putting the water in a water bag and uh, saving it that way. Okay, that's a good idea. So uh, that's the end of my uh, line. What I'll ahead. do, let me repeat. Okay, let me repeat it all back to you. Repress package valve off. Emergency cabin pressure off. Direct O2 off. Both demand regs off. Both H2O glycol accumulators uh, Water glycol accumulators off. Main reg A and B open. 
water and glycol tank inlet and outlet open for water momentarily pressurize the search tank take out water as required you're recommending drain out all the water uh, until uh, I can't get any more water out of it in order to conserve the oxygen okay uh we just want you to turn off the uh, water accumulators uh, and not the uh, glycol accumulator, over. So this is the city of Kochi. And our airport okay, will be uh, at the far the end, actually two, right? south of Nankoku. Uh, this is Kochi the, here. The accumulators on 382. Fairly large city on Shikoku, this island. So the map just about fits Shikoku, and the airport is RJOK. This is Apollo okay. Control at 64 hours, 28 minutes, ground elapsed time. To recap briefly the situation with Apollo 13, uh, the crew in the last hour was uh, passed up a Paracynthian plus two hours maneuver which actually is primarily a speed up maneuver to uh, get them back to Earth somewhat earlier than the normal free return would bring them. This maneuver would come at uh, 79 hours, 27 minutes. Ground elapsed time uh, would involve 845 feet per second velocity change. Splashdown would be in the Southwest Pacific, north of New Zealand at about 142 hours 47 minutes ground elapsed time. At the present time, the uh, limb oxygen quantity is uh, 50.6 pounds and 300 pounds of water on board. Cabin pressure holding steadily at uh, okay. 4.7 the up to five pounds in both spacecraft. The tunnel between the two is open, so they share a common atmosphere. Apollo 13 now 193,700 nautical miles out from Earth. Velocity 3,005 feet per second. Discussions here in the control room uh, Flop, have to should do be with down. Uh, the power down procedures, how to conserve electrical power. Doesn't the seem that way though, does it? Coolant cooling the various electronic systems in the spacecraft. Huh. How to husband all of these consumables mm. to uh, get the most mileage from them. And it's 64 okay. well, hours. My normal flap key did not work, but that did. Time and standing right. by. Interesting. This interesting. Apollo control. Interesting. Why my normal flap control did not work. But I didn't see the speed the lower bounds of the speed changed, so I was suspicious. Uh, flap indicator is somewhere Four around system, here, but it's, they're all really tiny for me right now. Oh, I see it now. Uh, Roger, Jack. We're asking whether a P-51 and a P-52 are required uh, in the back side of the mountain. I think so, Jim, but uh, stand by while I verify it. Houston. Go ahead. We think we know where the platform is, Jim. The, uh, the tracking looks real good from the last burn. We feel that just a P-52 will be required. Oh, choppy suddenly. Oh, I don't need this okay. right now. Oh, suddenly not so choppy. Oh, it's changing too much on me. Ah. Uh, A constantly bad frame rate is better than a frame rate that keeps changing. Stand by, we'll get the latest on that, Jay. Up, oh, hoppy. It, the, the speedometer does. Oh, the white region is apparently not what I thought it was. Okay. Where is Houston? Mm, this is awkward. All right, go ahead. 
Roger, Jack. We're still looking Ow. at 137 Ow. miles, and uh, Doppler's confirming Ow. it. We'll have a, uh, a Did good you stop update doing uh, this? after 67 hours. Holy. Oh, hey. that's good. Hey, I want to say you guys are doing real good work. So are you guys, Jack. Well. First time I ever tried to fly this, and boy, that was rough. But I was reading the speedometer a little bit wrong. I thought that we were closer to stall speed. It turns out we were much higher than it. Anyway, as I try and get myself off of here a little bit more elegantly than I got myself onto the runway. we hope will save some power by uh, powering down the uh, you gotta pause the, the audio amplifier. here and I gotta say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this flight if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time